Hello everyone. Well, it's another unboxing today and a Panasonic vacuum cleaner for us to have a look at. Now, Panasonic cleaner is a little bit thin on the ground at the moment in the UK ever since Panasonic decided to withdraw from the floor care market. Certainly in the UK, I'm not sure about other countries. Comment below if you can still buy Panasonic vacuums in your country. Anyway, this is an older model, but it's not that old. It's not vintage. It's not even classic, but it's one I've wanted for a while. Um, the last I saw one of these was a couple of years ago and it was going for about £170. Well, I managed to see one of these on eBay and I was the winning bidder and I got it for just over £16. Bit of a bargain. So let's have a look at it. Right, so this is a Panasonic MC UG614 brackets purple and um, it's a bagged vacuum it's an ecomax light i think they did a bagless version as well but uh, i prefer bags over bagless on the whole i was a bit um worried actually because i run it for such a little amount of money i was thinking well the seller might back out on the deal i've had it happen before where I've had an eBay bargain and the seller has made some excuse up. Oh, they've lost it or, oh, sorry, it got damaged. Same old story. It might be true in some cases, but anyway. But I was glad. Oh, a bit of broken glass there. I was glad when uh, this was marked as dispatched. I thought, oh, good. I am getting it. So uh, we've got the instructions. I think this is actually made in Mexico. I'll check that when I see the rating sticker, but I think it is. And um, although it's light, I was quite surprised to read the, on the box, it's got a 14 inch swept cleaning path. So that's quite a wide cleaning path for a vacuum. I mean, in the UK, wide to us used to be 12 inches. The Hoover Seniors, they were called the big sweep. But now, um, we are getting wider machines. Oh, that's that way up. So, I think there'll be a little bit of assembly required. It is a wide head. It looks cranky. It's got metal and everything in it. Wow. Well, I think if this works, and I've no reason to believe it won't, I think uh, this could be the bargain of the year so far. It does seem pretty robust. But yes, it's not made in China. Let me see. Yes, it is made in Mexico. I know I have read some reviews of this when it was available. It's a shame it's got uh, no headlight. When it was available in the uh, UK from Amazon, it still shows up on Amazon's website, but uh, it's not available. And I've read the reviews. Most of the people complained about um, a little attachment that you need when you're using the tools because this is a, a bagged cleaner with cleaning tools, but the tools aren't on board. You have to plug them in like you did with the, uh, you know, the old way of uh, converting an upright. Before attached tools were common, you did have a separate tool kit and often a little socket to uh, plug it into or you use the pan converter. So this does have a socket at the back and I'll show you all that. So I think the cable is about seven meters or just over. Oops, there we go, more bits underneath. Let's just move all this packaging out of the way. And it's even got a turbo brush. Not sure of the wattage of this, but this certainly will predate, I think even the first um, EU regs. Oh, it's a very nice dark purple. Yes, it almost matches. That's good, isn't it? What a coincidence. So, here we have a Panasonic branded turbo brush. Looks okay, definitely unused. Quite soft brushes. It's quite a narrow um, head. I wonder why there's such a big gap there, look. I suppose having those holes there will stop it from slowing down when it's uh, on fabric, because it'll still allow the airflow to keep the turbine spinning. You can probably get into this. Yes. Oops, it's come right off. A very small turbine in there. 
and throw a very, very thin belt actually, compared to a lot of the turbo nozzles I've uh, opened up. Right, I'm, I'm not going to faff about with that. Oh, hang on. Should be easy enough, shouldn't it? There we go. Yes. Right, so that's the turbo nozzle. You get a hose, which is very odd. Crikey. <laughs> it's very, very heavy. I mean, it looks quite rigid. It is quite a weight to it. Um, I'm not sure if it'll stretch um, up the stairs, but that's... Cr that is a quality hose for a stretch hose, but it is very thick where it stretches. These parts, I don't know what they're called, these sections are quite wide compared to a lot of hoses, a lot of stretchable hoses. It's not going to reach up the stairs. This should be fairly light to be able to carry up the stairs. Um, I assume that's the side that goes into the cleaner. We'll have a look at that when I get the handle assembled. So that's the hose. Here's a bag as well. Where's my box cutter? So you've got a little bag for the accessories, which is a nice touch. Uh, and it's sort of a, a leatherette vinyl finish. It won't be leather. And inside we've got a little upholstery nozzle. You can use that on your stairs as well. I assume that slides off without checking. Yes, it does. So you've got the slide on brush, but there's no litter pickers or anything on that one. But I suppose for pet hair, you can use your um, the turbo nozzle. Then we've got a very nice length of crevice tool. That's uh, well, certainly about, well, that's about, hang on. Well, it's about 14 inches. It's about the width of the cleaner head. So that's a nice long tool for getting in your nooks and crannies and there's something else. Oh, now this is the, the thing that people have complained about. This is um, a stabilization attachment and you need to fix this. I think it goes that way up. I'll show you when I've uh, got it on the cleaner. I think it slots into a slot at the back and it keeps the machine from toppling over when you're using the tools. Uh, yeah, a lot of people complained about that having to do that to use the cleaning tools. And finally, here's the handle. As I say, I must say, compared to a Chinese made vacuum, it does feel pretty solid. So Mexico seemed to have been the place I've noticed, probably before all production seemed to be moved to China, a lot of um, cost savings were made, certainly for American appliances, by um, assembling them in Mexico. I know a few Hoover cleaners were, but sometimes they were assembled in Mexico using cheaper Mexican labor, I expect, but the parts were actually manufactured in the USA. So here is the handle, it's got a nice loop, and you've got your hook that turns down for storing the cable, and also at the top is that little clip to keep the cable up out of the way. And there's one screw there. There's a little guide here. You've got your, um, I don't know if it's just one speed or two. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, it's two because it's got floor and carpet. Now it's upside down to you, but to the user, that would be the correct way, the correct way up, floor, carpet. So it's twin motored. You've got suction motor and a brush motor. And finally, Panasonic Ideas for life. Ecomax Light, a lightweight vacuum with a uniquely designed smooth swivel steering system, includes hose, tools and mini turbo brush for quick above floor cleaning. And then it's showing you uh, all the various bits and bobs and at the back, fingertip controls, hard floor setting, two motor system, above floor kit included, HEPA filter, HEPA dust bag type U13, 14 inch wide nozzle, edge to edge clean, foot activated height adjustment and a longer cord 7.3 meters. Okie dokie, there's not much to do as far as assembly goes. It's just remove the screw that's in the handle and place it in the top of the cleaner. Let me just check. Yes, it's got uh, connectors to connect up the switch. So obviously it goes in this way. Might need to stand up to do this. I don't want to force anything. 
It's nothing worse than breaking a vacuum just out of the box. There we go. That's lined up, I think, hopefully with the, um, the screw hole. So screw holes here, can you all see? Um, I'll just do that up by hand first <clears throat> to get it in. Hang on, I'm going to have to turn it round. You know what a screw looks like, don't you? Oh, I've got the wrong head on. Might be all right though. I think it's one of those dual heads. It's a bit wonky. It should straighten up. There we are. Probably better with a flat head screwdriver. I've got a, yeah, I'll just change that. I thought I could get away with it, folks, but no, I can't. I can't get away with it. Sorry if I sound a bit nasally. I've got a little bit of a cold. No, it's not man flu. I just get colds. They don't last long. Quite stiff. Whoops. One of my bits has fallen off. Right then. I'll have a look at this cleaner. And if this works, I think that's £16 well spent. Okie dokie, let's start at the bottom with this very wide cleaning head. You've got a rubber bumper around the front and partly around the sides to prevent uh, the paint marks. And we've got a height adjustment. Ah, so you do it with your foot. So there's this is uh, a little foot operated switch which you press. Now it's at the moment it's set to X low for very low pile carpet. By pressing it once, it's gone, gone on to low, then medium, then high, uh, oops, and back to low again. It's uh, a bit similar to um, the Miele Powerhead that I've got that you use a you push button, foot operated height control. I'll start this on um, low rather than X low. Let me just go, got to cycle, there we are, at low. You've got a belt reset button as well. So I assume that um, if it becomes clogged, if you suck up anything you shouldn't, it'll cut out and you can reset it using that red button. The handle release is located here at the back. So just press that down to lower the handle to the operating position. On the underside of the cleaning head, we've got another surprise, a wooden brush roll. You don't see many of those on vacuum cleaners these days. The brushes are medium soft. They're not too soft, but they're not rigid hard either, but they're okay. And uh, they're in a chevron design. So obviously the main suction path is in the middle. So as it rotates, it does sweep the debris into the airflow. So that's good. It's got a belt here, so there will be a line of shame. This might leave several lines of shames due to these uh, guards here. So we'll have to see that when I do a demo. Look, there's even a, a metal piece here that forms these two sort of, they're more rollers than wheels, but obviously that's what moves up and down when you adjust the height. And at the back, we've got two further wheels they're sort of rubber coated. It does feel pretty solid and well made. Well, certainly for £16, I'm not going to complain. Just under the height adjustment pedal, we've got a little slot here and that's designed to fit this stabiliser. So it just slots in like that. So when you use the cleaning tools, it gives the machine a bit of stability so it's not going to fall over. But I don't know how long it will be before that part breaks. It is a bit silly. I can understand why people complained about that. This is the hose port at the back of the cleaner and that just lifts up in order for you to insert the hose. So it goes this way in with this uh, arrow and the locked and unlocked padlocks. And you're supposed to line up this arrow with this silver arrow here. Line it up first, push it in and then twist it until it's showing in the locked position. So now, see, I can't get away over the weight of this hose. Even with that stabiliser, I wouldn't really want to be pulling at that. Yeah, I think you're better off holding the machine with one hand, similar to the way you'd have to use a Sebo Felix, really. But uh, I don't think this is a machine I'll use much with the uh, hose. But it is good to have a hose, at least. So this could be your only vacuum cleaner, if you could get hold of one. So um, 
let's have a look how these attachments fit it's just a push fit not really sure why not really sure why we've got a little indentation in there can you see I don't know why that's there what's the purpose of that because it doesn't seem to do anything but anyway so there you go that's the hose attached we'll take it off for now so turn it to the unlocked position and pull it out and then of course we must remember to close the hose port or we'll have no suction at the cleaner head there we go here's all the details at the back of the cleaner so it's model mc ug61400 number 011743r p max 1000 watts p norm 780 to 980 watts bag type u13 caution to avoid tip over use stabilizer when unit is sitting in upright vertical position on unlevel surfaces or when using hose attachment panasonic corporation made in mexico this is the exhaust vent and there's also a hepa filter behind that i've already been on panasonic's uk website to price up bags and filters the bags are pretty expensive for this machine uh, they're over 10 pounds for four but for some reason the hepa filter was very cheap i can't remember how much but it's about 97 pence i don't know if that's a mistake but um, i'm going to order one while i can or a couple because this is not washable i can say that without even looking at the instruction book i can say that because it's cardboard around here this is made of cardboard definitely you've got a bit of a seal so that will require replacement so i will get myself a few of those especially if they're as cheap as i remembered so that fits on there so it tells you the direction of air airflow so that's pointing outwards so it must go in that way and then that fits on i wonder how noisy this cleaner will be now this stabilizer looks like something that could easily get lost unless you remember to put it in the bag with all the other tools but Panasonic have thought of that and have provided a little storage clip just over the filter but mm, yes it's on but I can see that getting in the way especially if you were to lower the machine down for cleaning under furniture I don't know how low it goes but mm, I think personally I will leave that off and keep it with all the other cleaning tools. Just above the HEPA filter we've got the lower storage hook and that also doubles as the carry handle. And further up at the back of the handle we've got the top storage hook which of course can rotate to release all the cord in one go. The last thing to look at on this Panasonic Eco Max light is of course the bag which is housed inside here. Oh, the whole bag door comes off. It's quite thin. Ah, it's a fleecy bag and it's not actually, it's not a bad capacity. Well, how does it fit? Is it just a push? I think it is. I think it's just a push fit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So there we go. Panasonic original dust bag. There are aftermarket uh, pattern spares of bags for this. They're not much cheaper. I will get myself um, some genuine ones. It's a seems a fairly good quality bag as well. It's a cardboard collar. Where you've got uh, your little seal around there to keep the dust in. It's not, I say, it's not, not too big, but I mean, it's not small either for this type of cleaner. It's not a bad size, that. And at the bottom, we have a sponge filter. Now, I think this filter is washable. I seem to remember looking in the instructions, but it's a pretty bog standard type of filter that you could easily get to uh, replacements. But I will buy, while I'm ordering the bags and the HEPA filter, I'll get myself one of those as well. Obviously, the motor is located here and I've just noticed just slightly above here Panasonic have provided a suction relief valve here so obviously if you use the machine with a blockage or the bags full this will start letting air into the cleaner you'll hear it letting air in so you'll know there's a problem but it keeps the air flowing through to the motor okay then I've got the cleaner plugged in ready to switch on so if this works as I'm hoping it will 
I'll be very pleased with this unboxing. Okay, let's uh, try out the suction first with the hose. And locate the switch at the top. <laughs> Not too noisy, but we've only got the suction motor on. That's pretty powerful. When I was blocking the end off, I don't know if you could hear the, the noise, but the um, the suction relief valve was operating. But that's that's got a very good suction. Let's see how fast it's going to spin the turbo brush. It's going to probably make quite a bit of noise. Despite, despite all that suction, wasn't uh, wasn't that great? I was easily able to stop that spinning. No wonder they've put those huge gaps there to keep the brush roll going when it's on a carpet or upholstery. Mm, I somehow don't think that's going to be very effective. I'm just going to do a mini carpet cleaning test in this video or in this case it's a new rug so this rug is still shedding fibres so it'll probably end up uh, picking up quite a lot of loose fibres as well but I put down some tea leaves and some rolled oats I've actually got it on the medium setting for this but uh, on my regular carpets I'll probably have it down on the low setting so let's see how it performs <laughs> Of agitation as well quite surprised and uh, despite all those um, strengthening bars over the agitator it's left a few bits a few of the oats it's not bad at all right let's pick the rest of this up I don't want to do too much with this until I get some more dust bags <laughs> Well, that's about the end of my video on this Panasonic Ecomax Lite bagged upright vacuum cleaner. My sources tell me that this was also available in the USA under the Kenmore brand, but uh, apparently you couldn't get tools for the Kenmore version. So this one having the tools makes it a little bit more versatile. I'll be looking into this cleaner in a bit more detail in a future video. But if you have any questions about this machine, please ask in the comments section below. And don't forget, subscribe, thumb up. And uh, also, if you can subscribe to my other channels, that would be great as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.